I called this my uh, most important video to date because since the beginning of my channel, I've I constantly talk about how important it is to check if you're if you're getting into the hobby of uh, watch restoration, watch repair, tinkering, tinkering, whatever. Um, it's really important to know if you're working with radium, a watch that has radium loom or not. And radium loom is radioactive and has a half life of 1600 years. And if you if you inhale or ingest radium loom, it can your body can metabolize it as if it was calcium and it can go into your bones and it can stay there the rest of your life. So you don't want to you don't want to mess with radium. Uh, you don't want to breathe the dust and you don't want to accidentally get it into uh, uh, your mouth or, or your eyes or whatever. So um, the thing is, I constantly tell people how risky or dangerous it is and how they should be very careful. But and I show oftentimes using my own Geiger counter to check if things are radium or not. And um, I recently, because people have asked me like, oh, how, how, where did you get your Geiger counter? It's basically discontinued. I bought it a couple of years ago on eBay from Japan and it's not made anymore. So I ordered uh, an inexpensive $30, $30 one from AliExpress just to test it and show you guys and then be able to tell you uh, you, this is how you can solve that problem for yourself. If you don't have one, you should get one. Um, so I'm going to just give a quick demo in case anybody ha isn't already familiar with it. I also will put a link in here. I did a comparison, a separate video comparing these two watches and talking about visually what to look for if you don't have a, a, a Geiger counter. And then, so I'll just quickly test these again, show how this works and how I would use it. And then I'll talk about um, the link. And this, the link that I have is an affiliate link. So if you buy it from this link, you pay $29 plus $5, $6 shipping. And I get a commission of $2. And um, I'll talk a little bit about that, even though I just talked about it. But basically what I also want to say to other YouTubers is I think a lot of people follow me who are also kind of appealing to the hobbyist um, enthusiast audience. And I think anybody who has their own channel, it's a, it's a nice gift to give your audience the information of how to get a Geiger counter if they're just starting out. So feel free to uh, copy me. You can, you can set up your own affiliate thing so that people can tip you a couple of bucks if they happen to buy one. And uh, I would be pleased if anybody wanted to copy me and also talk about this on their channel. So um, first we'll just do, this is the, the Geiger counter that I got a couple of years ago. And frankly, it's more responsive than this inexpensive one, but it was at least $100 and it uses this Geiger Muller tube, which I think is no longer available, or anyway, it's very hard to, to find these days. And the kit is no longer made, so um, I can't tell you how to, how to get it. Now, the nice thing about this is that it's super sensitive. You can see, as soon as I approach it with this, this watch, which is has radium, the blue light goes on. Let me get this. Focus there. Um, there's a sound option. Blue light goes crazy. Counts per minute goes wild, and the micro server sieverts or whatever uh, counts up. So. If I, if I do the same thing with, there's some background too. So when you see the blue light just flashing, actually, that's, um, sorry to laugh, but there's a, there, this guy, Watch With Mike, who has his own channel. It's a great channel, by the way. I was just talking, chatting with him, I guess in the comments about how I'd, I'd smash and drop everything. Um, okay, so this one, what I was saying is there's some background radiation all the time. So particularly with this sensitive tube, you're always going to see an occasional flash 
as background radiation is detected. But this watch, which is not radium, Doxa Conquistador Automatic, basically has no effect. Just the background is all you see there. Um, okay, so now I want to show, compare this with the this one. So this one is, it's called type HFSP3. It has some instructions in English, or it has safety notes, let's see. Main characteristics, dose rate alarm, charging time three hours, key instruction, alarm setting. Yeah, so it has some instructions, but really, you, you, it has a, a cable for charging it with a, any USB charger, 5 volt. And um, let's test this first since it's not radioactive. So all you need to do is charge it, press, the, press and hold the power button. Power button. And it turns on and it starts giving mine for whatever reason starts saying 0 0.08 microsievert per hour. And what I've discovered from playing around with this is that the, the place where it most seems most sensitive to the watch dial is just the, behind the display. So you can see it's not doing anything and you might see a background flash green eventually but this this is less sensitive. But the thing about radium is like either a, either a watch has radium or doesn't. So you don't really need to know like oh how much what's the for this application you don't really need to know what the hourly exposure is or that kind of thing. So now you can see I've put the Gerard Perigo radium underneath it, and as soon as I place this on top, you see the green light flashing. And you'll see this average dose rate go up over the next, it's already go, gone up to 6, 0.62 from a base of uh, 0.08. So basically at that point, you know, you've got a radium, you've got radium paint either on the hands of the dial or both. And that means be careful, use precaution, use a dust mask, use gloves, uh, and have a plan because like, you don't want to just be working with a watch for days on end wearing a dust mask, dust mask and, and um, gloves. So what you would want to do is uh, get it open, get the, get the radium out and put the dial in hands away and then check it again to see if, there's, if there are particles like loose in it. And then I, I don't want to advise what you do after that. Like I, I'm kind of reluctant to even work on a movement that hasn't been, if you hold the power again, it, it turns off. Um, I don't even want to work on a movement that's been exposed to loose dust unless it's been cleaned first. And I recently got a watch cleaning machine, so probably what I'll do with radium movements that I know had radium around them is I would run the movement through the cleaning machine um, before I even disassemble it, and then I would disassemble and clean it. So the first pass would get the radium out of it. But um, that's basically it. The, so, so for the AliExpress thing, um, this seller is called Giant Power Store. Uh, 5361138 is the store number. It's been open since September 2019. 97.2% .2 positive rating. Um, this shipping is to, it's in dollars, but it, this was to ship to Switzerland. It might be different depending on where you live in the world. And if you haven't used AliExpress, I've bought about 500 things from them over the last few years. I mean, from them. It's just like uh, Amazon, basically, of China. Um, the sellers are all independent, and, the, and, the, and AliExpress is just a platform. But um, I've had no problem in, in hundreds and hundreds of orders. And it's much cheaper than buying from Amazon because Amazon, you're basically paying somebody in your own country to double the price of what they bought from China at these prices. Um, and then if you're, if you're a YouTuber yourself and you want to 
uh, become an affiliate, you can make the same appeal to to your own viewers. And um, let's see if I can. When you're an affiliate, you get this extra strip will show up when you log into your account. And then affiliate billboard help and setting. I just want to see if I can see. So if you if you have it once you set up your AliExpress account just as a purchaser or buyer or whatever, then you you go to the um, portal AliExpress.com and do their sign up to be an affiliate, and then that those bars will show up at the top of items like the Geiger counter, showing you what the commission is and giving you a link, and then you can provide people with that link, and then as people click on those links you get an income report and it seems to me aliexpress is kind of slow i don't know what i don't have other affiliate setups but um apparently since i've started doing it i've earned 29 dollars. but um i don't think it's, it's it says estimated so it hasn't been the order hasn't whatever those orders haven't gone through their system yet and, and resulted in any kind of credit to me or anything but it's a in theory, it works, and in theory, it's a way for for you to tip me by buying the Geiger counter. And if you're another YouTuber and you want to do the same thing, again, I highly recommend doing it. I highly recommend telling people that they should use a Geiger counter for their own safety. Okay, thanks again, um, and I'll see you on the next one.